Welcome back to the News at Noon. Now here's John Headland with today's sports news. Thanks, Mike. In hockey, the Devils continued their eight-game winning streak last night by beating the Boston Bruins 4-3 at home. The Bruins got off to an early lead, ending the first period 3-0. Patrick Elias scored the first goal for the Devils six minutes into the second period and the game-winning goal in overtime. Zach Parisi assisted both goals and also scored two for the Devils. They look to continue their winning streak tomorrow night at home against the Washington Capitals. The New York Islanders lost in Atlanta last night to the Thrashers 4-3, and the Rangers look to take on the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight at home at Madison Square Garden. In the NFL, defensive back Anthony Smith predicted his team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, would beat the undefeated New England Patriots this weekend. The Patriots will take on the Steelers at home this Sunday at 4:15. The New York Jets will also play it at that time, taking on the Cleveland Browns at Giants Stadium in New Jersey. The Giants will have to travel to Philadelphia, and they'll be taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in a 1 p.m. matchup. In men's basketball, our own William Patterson Pioneers crushed Wilkes in a 77-47 win at home. The New York Knicks came to New Jersey last night. Let's take a look at those highlights. Eddie Gill steals the ball and tips it to Vince Carter, who makes a monstrous dunk on a breakaway. Crawford will pass it across the middle to David Lee, who works his way in for two. And that's it for highlights. Jason Kidd sat out for the Nets with a migraine last night, and Stephen Marbury was also missed by the Knicks while he was still mourning the loss of his father. That wraps it up to sports. I'm going to slap shoot it back to Mike, and he'll take us out for the wrap-up. Thanks, Johnny. That wraps it up for today. Thank you for tuning into the news at noon. But before we leave you, an update on the WPBN Telethon. Over $600 was raised for Tabby's Place, thanks to all who donated and participated in this event. Your help was greatly appreciated. Until next time, I'm Mike Ruby. Have a great afternoon, and remember, don't drink and drive, Wayne.